be drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dawg, we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July hey guys welcome welcome back to a new video on the channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe and like this video for more content like this if you're more into makeup content like this video and comment down below so i know to do more of these today as you can see by the title i'm going to be trying on new makeup i think i went to sephora in my vlog that i just put up i'm just gonna link that up here or in the description below but we went to sephora i look so trapped but <laughs> put on something he did not show up on camera with chap lips. Yeah, so we went to Sephora in that vlog. And this is basically me showcasing like how it works in case you're interested. And I also bought new products to just tie everything in. So this is kind of a full face. Some of these is products that I have used already. But most of these are like new products. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And let's just get started. Okay. Do you guys like the new background? Like, purr. I'm going to be doing a dorm tour very soon. I'm like in the process of redecorating my room. Yeah, that video is gonna come up like probably in March because there's a lot going on. But yeah, let's just get started. So I'm going to show you guys. Actually, no, I'm just gonna show y'all as I go along. Okay, so to start this off, we're gonna start off with primer. Now, usually I use this primer. Y'all know this is like my, you know, my to go. But we're going to be trying a new primer that I bought. This is a sample, but we're gonna be using one of them. So this is a the primer that Rare Beauty, ooh, that Rare Beauty has come out with. You have the illuminating primer, pore diffusing primer, and weightless eye primer. So I think I'm gonna use the pore diffusing primer because that's what I usually use for my elf is like a poreless primer. I the illuminating pot primer. I don't know. I don't even miss. Illuminating or poreless? I don't know. Let's use poreless. Yeah, so I'm just gonna apply this on my face and we're gonna just see how it works. Yeah, it's a sample, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy like a full one later. But today I'm also gonna be trying eyeshadow as well. So I'm gonna try to do like a Valentine's Day themed. I don't know. I'm not good at eyeshadow, so this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Okay, so that's how the primer is. Um, I can't really tell with primers, but it makes my skin look smoother though. Hmm, what do you guys think? I think it made my skin look more smoother. I don't know. But yeah, that's the primer. I can never really tell with primers to be honest. Now we're gonna move on to eyebrows. The eyebrow pencil, as I said in my vlog, this one has a fine stencil, is it what it's called? My makeup tutorial, I did not know what it was called. But the eyebrow pencil, there's a Sephora collection eyebrow pencil in the shade medium brown. So we're gonna try that out and see how that looks with me even though i don't have any eyebrows you can kind of see like you can see hair on my <laughs> on my face so you know i don't really have to do too much with my eyebrows so when i went to sephora like the way the lady did my eyebrows it looked so good because she didn't even do too much she just filled it in created a little bit of shape and that was literally it so that's what we're gonna do if i can get this wrapper to get off of here y'all this thing is not coming on. This is how it looks like. And I'm also gonna put the links in the description below, but it has like the brush at this end and then the sensor at this end. And you see how this is compared to, this is the e.l.f. one. We see how like the difference is, see the difference? This one is like more mad thick compared to this one. Y'all know how, how long I take on my eyebrows. Yeah. Y'all yeah, know. I'm gonna move a little bit closer because I wanna try to see what's going on. I'm just gonna kind of shape my eyebrows. Let's see how long it takes me to do them. It's 2.49 right now. Let me see how long it takes me to do them. Okay, so I brushed it out a little bit and then now I'm gonna take the stencil side. I'm just gonna like fill it in. And even this is, I'm gonna extend the front a little bit. I'll brush it out so that it's kind of like faded. I don't know, that's what the girlies be doing, chat. Before I was just trying to do too much, it's because I watched too much of the girlies, chat. They be doing too much. But I feel like this is good right here. Like, compare them. You see? Okay, so that's the first eyebrow done. It's now 252. Count it. I love this stencil so much. 
call that ruckus? It's like my shade exactly too. You can't even tell, it's just shaded in. It kind of looks like I actually have some eyebrows on me. I have never waxed around my eyebrows, so it looks a little bit all over the place. But once we get that concealer going, I promise you, we're going to be all right. Okay, so I'm just filling in with the last of it. Like, this is so, it's thicker. This is literally like my natural brow shape. I literally have no control over this. I don't even have a say. But yeah, that's just it filled in. And honestly, I'm just going to just trace it out with my concealer and hope for the best. But so far, I like this stencil. It makes the brows look more natural. I mean, I'll buy more of the Sephora collection pencil and probably switch over to that because it gives me more control. When I try to line out my brows, you kind of have to have a certain angle to like draw it so that it doesn't make your eyebrows look too thick. But this, you have more control you know since it's thin next we're going to conceal around the eyebrows i have the fenty beauty by rihanna concealer i was looking for a new concealer since i already have the foundation let's get the concealer too this is in the shade 450 when we went to sephora my actual concealer shade was 460 but they sold out of it so i got 450 instead if you want to know all about that like i literally took you out to sephora shop with me when i was getting this if y'all want to see all that make sure to watch my vlog okay but this is how it looks like i love the packaging let me show y'all the foundation it's literally like the same the brush i'm going to use is this angled brush i got these brushes from amazon i'm gonna link it again in the description oh actually no i think it's sold out and then in my other uh, makeup tutorial video i actually linked like a different type of brush because they were sold out of this one if they're stocked in i'll put the description below angled brush so that you know you have more control around the eyebrows and i'm just gonna take this and just put some on the angled brush and we're gonna see how this one performs And I'm going to bring this down. about something while i'm here <laughs> what shows are y'all watching i need new shows right now i'm watching criminal minds and y'all i think i'm a, i'm sick i think i'm a sick individual the fact that i'm able to watch criminal minds and not even flinch because that show is kind of graphic sometimes they don't show everything but it's kind of graphic but i love that show y'all i love that show and i want to really get into um euphoria too because everybody's watching euphoria and i'll be seeing the memes and i'll be like dang i can't even laugh because i don't know what's going on on. but i kind of want to watch it before they get into like later seasons because then i'm gonna feel lazy to watch it since they already i think they're renewed for season three but yeah i kind of want to catch up before you know it's too late to Ooh, what's going on in the middle this is giving hold on y'all let me brush out the front first but we also trust the process yeah i'm not that girly okay so now i'm gonna be using this brush this has a bit of blushing it don't it so so far they're not looking like twins but when has my eyebrows ever looked like twins never i'm going to brush it out i know that some girlies you put in concealer in the front like on the actual eyebrows so it can kind of like Fade. This is how the eyebrows is looking like. I don't know what's the problem. I feel like I just didn't shape well. This one is fine, but this one, there's something wrong with this one. And this one's just like, Poop. I can do a basic face. You tell me to do a basic face. Oh, I got you. I got you, sis. I can do a whole full uh, basic face without no eyeshadow, no nothing, and I got you. But if you tell me to do an eyeshadow look, I'm walking away. But this is how the eyebrows look. It's 310. I feel like this is good. The last time I think I spent like 30 minutes on my eyebrows, but this one did not take that long at all. I like how it looks now that I fixed the front a little bit. But yeah, you guys, I actually like this. I love that pencil. It's 
I'm about to become a staple. Next, we're going to get into the foundation. Yes. yes. Okay, so I bought a new foundation. Y'all, I bought a new foundation. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation. This is the Rare Beauty Foundation in 550. It claims that it is weightless. Let's just get into it. This is Selena Gomez's line. So we're gonna see how, what she's giving. So far, I like the packaging. I like this little like ball thing up here. And it just says 550 at the bottom. This is one fluid ounces, 1.0 fluid ounces. Ooh, oh my gosh. Something that fell. This is liquid tea. When it said liquid, they weren't playing around. Why did it spill? Okay. So it kind of spilled there a bit, but it has like a, what is it like a, what do people call this? A, like a doofer? I feel like I'm saying it weird. But I like this. This is giving tart, tart their foundation. That's what it's giving. Because most foundations, they just have like the, you just like go like that and you have the foundation coming out, but this one has like a doofer, which is pretty nice, you know? So we're going to start applying it. This is liquid. It's gonna be a good foundation shade even if we can y'all know we can manipulate any shade honey yeah i actually love the packaging that gets a plus now let's see how it performs i'm gonna let it settle down a little bit because it's a bit liquidy while it's settling down i'm gonna go with my beauty brush i'm gonna use a beauty blender and now that it has settled down a little bit i'm gonna start spreading it Okay, it is spreading pretty easily. It's making my skin look smooth. I think this is more darker than my regular shade, but sometimes foundation can settle down and turn lighter. What's that called? Oxidizing? I think that's what it's called. So far, this foundation is pretty good. It's easier to manipulate, even though I set it on my face for a little longer. I like this so far. This foundation shade is dark, but you know, with concealer and stuff like that, I feel like it'll be okay. Okay, so, so far, so the claims is that it's weightless. It is weightless. It feels like I don't have anything on my face. I like the coverage. This is not full, full coverage to the point where, like, you don't see anything because when you zoom in, you can still see the blemishes and stuff. This is really good. If you're, like, a natural person, I find this is really good. I don't know if it's buildable. I'm gonna put one more layer around this area. See if it's, like, buildable or, you know, the girlies that love that coverage. Your girlies are like coverage. I got you. Mm, I mean, it covered it more, I guess. What do you guys think? I don't know. While I'm editing, I'm gonna look between the other clips. I'm just gonna put what I think, but yeah, that's another layer right there. I can't really tell now. To me, it looks the same, but just tell me what y'all think in the comments. I feel like it's more of like a natural foundation. Let's do eyeshadow first. So that I can just conceal my mistakes. So Urban Decay, you know, ever since I've been growing up, I always hear of Urban Decay. So I was looking for eyeshadow primers and I found this eyeshadow primer potion from Urban Decay. I've never used Urban Decay products ever. But this ain't my first time. How it looks like this eyeshadow primer. It also has like a doofer on it as well. This is the smaller one. I didn't buy the bigger one because I didn't know how it was going to work. But we're just going to put that on the eyelid. I am going to be doing a valentine's day themed look this is gonna go either bad or good okay so it created like a nice face for me so the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna be using it's called beauty treats my roommate gave me this so we're just gonna see i was applying it last time and it was actually pretty pigmented so valentine's day is like what like red pink or should we do like a black with pink okay so we're gonna start with black we're gonna use that at the end so i'm just gonna pack okay this pigmented hold on i feel like the urban decay primer too like it's playing a part as well they all playing its part they playing its role this is more like a neutral tone this one also has black in there let's see if it's gonna do something Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a pink. So I'm gonna be taking this right here and I'm just gonna pack that like literally right above, right like below the black. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, this is kind of looking like a mess. So we're gonna put this hot pink like in the crease. 
okay this is not that bad this is honestly not that bad it's looking smooth and then to kind of like tone that down i guess uh this color and juvia's face we're gonna use this like a transition color actually pretty good to so really lay on that pink color you see how it's not really as vibrant a trick to use is to take a flat brush right spray it with a setting spray okay it's looking like a mess but we're gonna clean it up just wait just wait don't click off yet just wait we're gonna go back and then we're gonna use the juvia's place palette and we're gonna kind of you know we're going back to jump jamata oh i kind of like this outward look that i did with the eyeshadow i just have to clean it up a bit more at the end but it's giving very much wing so i'm gonna also put more of the pink this side i want to use like a i don't know like a pink like shimmery this is also by la colors um we can use like this gold one right here okay i'm gonna use the same pink one i think i have an idea so i'm gonna spray it again dip that into this one it's kind of like a champagne -y color So, you know, the glitter is everywhere. So, I'm just gonna wipe that off with this. But, you guys, this is actually cute. I'm just gonna use, um, like, a bigger brush to just wipe off the bottom. But, y'all, this is how it is. Ooh, I like this. Because my eyeshadow has never turned out this good, like, ever. I'm gonna start putting on my Fenty Beauty concealer. <laughs> I can tell this coverage is gonna be great. This is the Fenty Beauty. I didn't get any contour or anything. So I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty um, contour. Y'all seen this in another video chat. I'm gonna blend it out now. I'm going to blend out. I'm going to use the other side of this to blend out the contour that I don't see. I want to get a deeper shade because I feel like this shade is my shade. Like, I don't know if it's just me. But this shade is definitely my shade because I can't see nothing. This is not new either. I'm going to use a contour palette. So I'm going to use this brush. It's like a contour brush. I'm going to also set my eyebrows with this Maybelline Brow Sculpt. I'm going to get into baking. So usually I use the Airspun baking powder. So I'm going to put that on one side. And then for the new baking powder, I'm going to put everywhere else because I kind of want to see the performance of that one more. The new one that I got is this Laura Mercier. This was a sample for buying, you know, the products. Yeah, that's how that one looks like. You can also just like press it in like this. 
Mm. I put too much on this side though. It's giving flawless. So I'm just gonna wait like two minutes. To wipe this off. I'm about to wipe this off. It's easily wipeable. I feel like I put too much here. The air spun is pretty small, so I was only taking up like a bit at a time. But the air spun is big, so it was like I was taking a lot. Laura Mercier. It blended in really nicely. The less you use, the more better it is. Because this one, I don't even have to go over with my Fit Me powder, which is in my shade. And we're also going to do a flash test as well. Like I'm looking in the mirror, and this side definitely takes the win. Laura Mercier. <laughs> No wonder the YouTubers were in a, a hole. Translucent powder was everywhere. I feel like it's more wider than this part. I'll actually go out and buy the full size of the Laura Mercier. Yeah, I'm making the switch. All right, so next we're going to go into blush. So I saw this TikTok and this girl was using orange type blush. And I was like, ooh. So it turns out it was a NARS Exhibit A blush. And it's like a reddish orange color. So we're just going to dip into that. And we're going to... Smile. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Took too much. Just a tap. Just a tap. I forgot we was doing with Nars here. Nah, when I first did that, in, I was low key going ham. I'm not even on cap. I was going ham because usually my Fit Me powder, I'm going ham on the Fit Me powder. So I'm just gonna go back in with the brush that I used to dip into my Fit Me powder and just kind of take some away. We have the eyeliner. This is just the NYX ink liner. But this is the best I can do. Honestly, once the eyelashes go on, it's not going to matter. Okay, so now we're gonna get into eyelashes. I need to get like more styles. This is the Ramel Scandal Eyes. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the highlighter. I bought the Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer, which is highlighter. So yeah, so this is the Outshine one. So it says a silky second skin liquid highlighter that creates a lasting lift lit from within glow. Let's see if it does that. It does have the same, you know, packaging as the foundation. Hopefully nothing spills out of here. How would you apply this? Does it say anything? I don't know how to really apply this. I guess I'm gonna use like a beauty blender of some sort i don't know how much or how little to put to blend that out so let's see this dries really fast see it dries really fast like as soon as you put it on like you should get to blending type thing Okay, so that's how it looks like. As I said, like as soon as you put it on, you should be blending it out because it's going to stick. It's not bad. I'm not really a fan of liquid highlighter, but it's nice. It's a nice color. It's just that it dried way too fast for me to manipulate it. I'm going to still go into my Black Radiance highlighter because this one I really like to have like control over it. So I'm just going to use that. I do not like this. This is see to regular lip gloss. It is a Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow lip gloss. Sometimes you just gotta go with the natural. And then the last thing we're going to put on is the setting spray I got from Urban Decay. And okay, this is the long, the all nighter setting spray. I remember this being popular as well. So let's just put it on. I feel like the lashes don't really fit this look. It's too dramatic for this look. And I don't have any other lashes, so. This is the final look. I feel like this is a really good base. Um, I really like it. So let's go down the product list. I think the first thing that we used was the concealer. The concealer was really good. I love it. I'm definitely gonna buy this again. I would rate this like one.
and it just gave me a smooth base even though i let it dry for a little longer it didn't stick to the point where i couldn't blend it out it blended out beautifully the rare beauty foundation i really like this it ended up working on the end i think it was art i really like this foundation i would definitely use it again it's a good foundation okay so you know go make sure you did your thing period i would give it like a a eight. It's just that it was really liquidy. But I feel like it blended out really well. This is the Sephora eyebrow pencil. I really love this eyebrow pencil. I give this like a 10 out of 10 because it has really shifted my eyebrow game. Before I used to try to make it too dark and it wouldn't really fit my face. But this is medium brown. It matches in my face more. It's perfect. So I give this a 10 out of 10 because this has changed my eyebrow game forever. I'm sticking to this. This is, this is it. Okay. So yeah. So next is the translucent powder Laura Mercier. I'm definitely buying the bigger size of this i love this more than the airspun one i don't know if i just use too much but i definitely love this one more and i feel like this one has more like a, a tint to it i don't know i don't know if it's just me i'll give that translucent powder a 10 and then next we have the nars exhibit a i really love this it gives more of a orange tint i'll give this a 10 as well i would definitely buy this again next we have the highlighter i don't like liquid highlighters i'm more of a fan of powder highlighter is but i feel like this is okay I, I did my best with this i really couldn't manipulate it as much as i did with the powder highlighter would i get this again probably no <laughs> i like that it's more natural because most liquid highlighters they look so unnatural and you try to blend it out and it's not going anywhere next time i will put it on and try to blend it out as soon like as soon as i put it on my face finally we have the urban decay all nighter i don't know how this works yet because i I'm about to take this off, but I'm going to update you. If I use this any other time, I'll definitely update you on this. I feel like it's good. I mean, nothing is moving. There's nothing on my finger. So I'll give this a like an eight because i don't know how it works yet but it set everything in place so the primer as well i liked it the oilless primer everything laid on smoothed that's my but that was a sample so but i buy more probably not because i don't know i don't really pay attention to primers like that the last product is the eyeshadow primer by urban decay i love this eyeshadow primer i feel like my eyeshadow came out way better and I actually feel confident to try out new like palettes and stuff i don't buy eyeshadow palettes like when i go out to get makeup because i'm not confident that i'll use it and now that i have this i'm more confident in using it because literally the juvia's place before when i didn't have this i would put it on and i'm just like where is the pigment like i can't see anything i'll just put it down and just move on child now that i have this i'm definitely gonna practice more eyeshadows now you know one of my goals in 2022 is to master eyeshadow so i think we're on the road to that <laughs> Side in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas around me, right at a guy, gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right by, I'm outside in an AMG, right outside. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you see these products and maybe you want to go out and get them. But yeah, that's like my first impression of these products. Make sure to subscribe, you guys. Make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 200 subscribers. That's like the subscriber count right now. Like this video for more makeup content. Make sure to leave a comment below of what you would rate these products, what you rate this makeup look. And should I check off Mastering Eyeshadow off my lip? <laughs> feeling confident make sure to do all of that and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> two turn baby girl you know me still with the girls that i go beside all the niggas around me right in the guy gotta watch the time cause it's flying right by i'm outside in the amg right outside gt two turn baby